Now, Lauren Casey joins us now with your forecast. And it was absolutely 10 mwah. out of 10. I mwah. ordered that up today. Loved I put it. in requests with Mother Nature, really? and she was like, All right, Lauren, here you go. You Everyone. know people. I know, yeah, I know people. people. Yes, you do. I got connections with Mother Nature. <laughs> but yeah, today was a gorgeous day. Another beautiful night. Oh, so nice to walk out and about in these temperatures, these low humidity levels, certainly not feeling like August. 73 degrees right now as we get a live look at beautiful Center City, Philadelphia. Winds are light out of the south and they'll stay light throughout the overnight period. High temperature today, we hit average right on the head, 86 degrees, but I don't think it felt like 86 with that low humidity. We had a nice breeze and we started off on the cooler side of average by about 5 degrees this morning at 64 in Philadelphia. And temperatures right now are cooling off once again. Again, we're in the 50s already in the Poconos, 60s in the Lehigh Valley, Berks County, same case down the shore. We're at 68 degrees right now in central Delaware and 73 degrees is that current temperature in Philadelphia. Some of our cool spots as we check in on our live neighborhood network, 63 in Bluebell. We're down to 63 in Pottstown and Vineland hanging out in the mid 60s. Winds are calm at all of those reporting sites and overnight tonight, a calm night in store. Crystal clear skies dropping back to 65 degrees. Very comfortable once again and another nice day tomorrow. That's two in a row. Comfortable humidity levels still, although dew points will be a little bit higher tomorrow. High temperature at 85 degrees. Storm scan three showing us quiet conditions. High pressure in control up and down the eastern seaboard. So really not a cloud in the sky right now, but much more activity as we pan down towards the southern Gulf of Mexico. This is now Hurricane Franklin, and it is nearing landfall along the eastern Mexican coastline. You can kind of make out on the satellite imagery. That is the eye of this category one system that is going to make landfall as we head into the next couple of hours right near Veracruz. Winds right now 85 miles per hour, so a strong category one movement off to the west at about 13 miles per hour and will bring parts of this country flooding rains and of course those strong winds right near the coastline then quickly dissipate over the mountainous region as we head into the next day. It's been a wet start to August for us in the Delaware Valley. Departure from average in the order of inches at many locations. We're up about two and a half inches in Allentown so far for August, up over an inch and a half above average in Philadelphia and an inch and a quarter in Reading. But we are not going to be adding to that total as we head through the day tomorrow. Just a lot of sunshine to be had. Few late day clouds moving in, but as we head into Friday, we are are going to increase those rain chances, especially Friday night, then into Saturday, looking like the best rain chance over the next several days. On Sunday, though, we'll still maintain a rain chance of some scattered showers and storms. And that also reflected in your shorecast. Another beautiful day tomorrow. Sunshine, 80 degrees, then a spotty thunder shower on Friday, and best storm chances will arrive on Saturday with a high temperature at 80 degrees. We'll be a steamy one in the city and suburbs as we look towards the upcoming weekend. High temperatures in the middle 80s. Humidity levels will be cruising on up. That AC will be clicking back on. Looks like the wetter day at this point is going to be on Saturday. Still need to fine tune that forecast. Models need to align a little bit more so we can have a little more confidence in just how wet it will be. But Saturday, Sunday, Monday, just prepare for a chance of a storm cruising on by. We